Hello everyone, before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my members, Leandro Albuquerque da Fonseca. Thank you for becoming a member again and supporting the channel. Members are given shout outs in my videos. You can easily become a member by clicking the join button. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a polynomial expression. We have x squared plus 6x minus 2 equals 0, and we're going to evaluate x squared plus 12 over x. I'll be presenting three methods, and let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to isolate x squared from the first equation. Since x squared is the highest power, it makes sense a lot of times to isolate it. So I can write x squared as 2 minus 6x. And now let's go ahead and take a look at our rational expression. I can make a common denominator and write it as x cubed plus 12 over x. And now I have an x cubed here, but I do know x squared in terms of x. So let's go ahead and write this x cubed as x times x squared. And then let's go ahead and replace x squared with what it is. And that's going to give us the following, x times 2 minus 6x plus 12 and divide by x. Now we're going to go ahead and distribute that. It's going to give us 2x minus 6x squared plus 12 divided by x. And now I'm going to replace x squared with 2 minus x again. That's going to give me 2x minus 6 times x squared, which can be written as 2 minus 6x. 2 minus 6x, which replaces x squared, plus 12, and then all over x. Now let's go ahead and use the distributive property here and see what we get. 2x minus 12 plus 36x plus 12 divided by x. Now negative 12 and positive 12 cancel out. We have 2x plus 36x, which is 38x divided by x. Suppose that x does not equal 0. And you can tell x does not equal 0 for sure because it doesn't satisfy the equation. We get 38 as our answer. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and talk about the second method. Our second method is going to be a little different. We're going to start with what we're trying to find out. So let's go ahead and take this rational expression and set it equal to k. Since I'm trying to evaluate x squared plus 12 over x, I set it equal to k, so my goal is to find the value of k. Now let's go ahead and, you know, make a common denominator, x cubed plus 12 divided by x equals k, and then let's cross multiply and arrange this equation. Let's go ahead and put everything on the same side. That gives us x cubed minus kx plus 12 equals 0. So this kind of gave us a cubic, and we got this. We know that this is true if our original equation is true, because they, they're basically telling us that for these x values, evaluate the following. So that means that the roots of the first equation, which is the quadratic, are also roots of the second equation, which is given. And that turned into a cubic equation. So this means that the roots of the quadratic are also roots of the cubic, but our quadratic is x squared plus 6x minus 2 equals 0. So if this is true, then this is also true. Of course, x cannot equal 0, so this is always going to be true, right? So that means they're kind of sharing roots. But what is that supposed to mean? And we've done a similar problem recently. It means that x cubed minus kx plus 12 contains this as a factor. So one of the factors of this cubic is the quadratic, which shares both of its roots with the cubic. But what about the other factor? Because the left-hand side is a cubic, so we kind of need to multiply this by x or ax plus b, right? But x uh, is going to have a coefficient of 1. We know that from x cubed. But what about the constants, right? We have a 12, we have a negative 2, so we're supposed to have and negative 6 or minus 6 here. Now let's go ahead and distribute what's on the right hand side and set it equal to the left to the left hand side. So let's see. 
I would like to simplify this on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and distribute x cubed minus 6x squared plus 6x squared minus 36x minus 2x plus 12. Now let's go ahead and simplify that by adding like terms. We have x cubed, by the way, x squared cancels out nicely. Notice that there is no x squared on the left hand side, so that makes sense. We have negative 36x minus 2x, that is uh, minus 38x plus 12. And these are two polynomials that are, that's an equation that's true for all values of x, which means k equals 38. And guess what? We were looking for the k value and we just found it. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the third method now. So for our third method, we're going to do the following. Normally, I would do this as my first method, but I decided to not start with something that is kind of brute force-ish. So a third method is kind of brute force. We're going to isolate x squared plus six, uh, x, x squared plus six x. So since this is given, we can safely say that x squared plus six x equals two. Now, why am I doing this, right? Well, I want to solve this equation. I want to find its roots using uh, completing the square method. So I'm going to add 9 to both sides. And adding 9, by the way, I'm going to make a video, I think it's going to come up in two days, on how to solve quadratic equations in a different way. So that's going to be interesting, and I'll let you know when it's coming up. So I think it should be coming up in two days. Anyway, so the left-hand side becomes x plus 3 quantity squared equals 11. And from here, by taking square root, you know, we can easily solve this quadratic equation. This is a method of solving quadratic equations. So from here we get x plus 3 equals plus minus square root of 11. And by moving the 3 to the right hand side, uh oh, that's kind of like a weird equal sign. We're going to get x equals negative 3 plus minus the square root of 11. Awesome. Now we got two roots. And remember, our goal is to evaluate x squared plus 12 over x, just like before in a previous video. And I'll share the link here. Um, we did something similar, but which x value we're going to use? The answer is, it doesn't matter. And I'd like to use the positive one, because it's always good to be more positive. So the more positive one is this one, right? This is more positive. Let's go ahead and plug this in here. So i got to find x squared first, right? Let's go ahead and find x squared. I'm going to square this, 9, and then since this is kind of like, you know, well, I can just write it like this, 9 plus 11, right? and then minus 6 root 11, that's going to give me 20 minus 6 root 11. That is x squared. And then I need to find out to that, remember I'm trying to evaluate this, to that I need to add 12 divided by x, which is negative 3 plus root 11. Can I write it as root 11 minus 3? Because I'm going to use the conjugate, and I just want to write it in a nicer form. Okay, now let's go ahead and multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator which is root 11 plus 3, and see what happens from here. So 20 minus 6 root 11 is going to stay the same. I'm going to multiply this by that. That's going to become 12 times root 11 plus 3, divided by 11 minus 9, which is 2. I can cross cancel. That gives me a 6 here. And now I get 20 minus 6 root 11 plus. Now I'm going to, what is that called? Distributive property. Okay, I'm going to use the distributive property. 6 times root 11 plus 6 times 3, which is 18. Awesome. Negative 6 root 11 cancels out. 20 plus 18 is 38. And yay, we got the same answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.